How's that? Go to ball. How's that? Hi guys, Scotty here. Wow, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, um, I've only been launched for about three days now. And I'm making this video because I wanted to address what I'm seeing right out of the gate. Um, first, I have to talk about YouTube. This is so fun, you guys, for me. I'm 66 years old. And this is something I've never done before. I've never had, I don't do social media at all my whole life. And this is the first jump into something social. And I'm so excited for it because it's like, it's like putting on an exhibition or talking to a group of people, but I get to reach the whole world. So it's so fun for me. You know, I discovered my grip technique, the Robertson grip, which let's just get to it right now. I hold the club like this, you guys, the golf club like this. So I discovered this back in 1990. And I tried to share it with the world. And when I did that, I had to go to, let's just say a city. We'll pick a city, uh, Dallas. I had to go to Dallas. I had to do the press for a week or so. And then I get a, a place to hit balls to put on a ball striking exhibition or get a room in a hotel, uh, a big room that I could um, maybe seat thir or 300 to 500 people. And that's all I could do. So I, I would have to go to a city, reach three to 500 people, and how could I really talk to them all, except for on the stage or at a, a, a driving range hitting balls? And you can't answer all their questions or anything because it's just impossible. And I would leave that town and then there was nothing else. That was it. That was the end of it. You saw me once and gone. Now, YouTube, thank you guys. I can reach the whole world. I can reach all of you at the same time, every country. This is phenomenal. This is so exciting. I feel like I'm, I'm in my studio right here, which will only hold about eight or 10 people, but I can reach all of you at the same time. This is fun for me, you guys. This is a blast. So in my, on my uh, YouTube channel, in the comments, leave comments, reach out to me constantly. Let me know what you'd like to see because I would love to build that content and put it on here for you to see. I'm going to be play, putting all kinds of videos on. We want to, we're going to be competing with other people. Right now we have scrambles on there. I have my instruction on there and more and more will come. Again, three days I've been launched. But the reason I'm making this video specifically is because I want to address some of the comments that have come out right away. Now, naturally with a grip technique as crazy looking as mine, like this, we're going to hear comments of, I can't do this. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. I would never be able to pull the club back like that. It's impossible. Well, right here, I have two videos right here, you guys, never before seen and never before seen lesson one and lesson two that I teach all of the grip. I teach the whole thing. I teach how to practice, practice routine, exercises, everything, coordination exercises, everything. And so you can learn from that. But I really want to address the most important thing, the grip. And how do you get it back to parallel? That's my first concern today, to help you understand how to get the club back to parallel. So let's start with this. No matter what, as long as you can roll your wrist like this, you can perform my technique. So if you don't have a fused wrist, meaning you can't even comb your hair, you can, you can do my technique. You can utilize my technique. You can implement it into your game. And I promise you, it will make you a much, much better ball striker. Just check out the rest. Check, check out the way we hit the ball. So here we go. The wrist roll. The most important thing is this wrist roll. The wrist roll enables you to get the club back to parallel or even farther. So again, if you can do this, if you're right-handed, let's get started. If you're right-handed, place your left hand out in front of you like this, your arm and your hand like this away from you and make a finger grip with your fingers. So you see that fingers, I'm not grabbing like this with my palm. It's fingers. We'll start with that. After you make a finger grip like this, I want you to stick that little knuckle out or the knuckle on the little finger out like this and roll it back to your chin like this roll it back to your chin. A lot of people, I, when I used to give lessons, I would tell them, have you ever thrown down a shot? Ever thrown down a shot? I don't drink. <laughs> I'm not a big drinker by any means, but that's what it's like, guys. It's rolling your wrist like this, rolling your wrist like this. And the reason I have you do it with your fingers like this is because we're like grabbing a club. So 
Grab the club like this, little finger sticking up, roll it back to your chin like this. Roll it right back to your chin like this. Another angle, like this. Finger grip, roll it back to your chin, roll it right back to your chin, just like that. Now, if you can perform this simple move, and I know you can, you can do my grip. You can perform my grip, no problem. And you won't break your wrist, you won't have any problems. So for those of you out there that have been sending the comments and I can't do this, I hope you see this video because you can do it. You can. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you what the top hand does onto the club. It's the whole thing. It's the key factor, if you will, with my technique, the Robertson grip, is uh, again, when I discovered this, my hand went upside down, I grabbed the club like this, and I destroyed the first ball I ever hit. Now I wanna share with you the grip, okay? How the top hand, and if you're right-handed, it's your left hand, and opposite if you're left-handed how the grip goes onto the club. And the top hand is the most important part because that's what make, makes this all work together. And I'm gonna back up and tell you just a little story real quick, and it's on a lot of the videos, but I wanna share this again with you in case this is the first video that you've seen of me. Back in 1990, I stumbled on, by accident, this way of gripping the golf club. Prior to this, I, my average tee shot was 160 yards, 160, with a slice. I only played executive courses because I was that bad. I could not hit a golf ball to save my soul. Everything was a slice. Everything was out of control. And again, executive, executive courses, probably shooting between, I would say, 30 and 50 over on those courses. That's how bad I was. Um, on the range, I'm on the range back in 1990 with my son. He bought me a new driver. It was a metal head, the first metal head I ever owned. And I went out to hit it and everything was the same. You know how you think that you're gonna get a new club and it's gonna change everything? Well, it didn't change a thing. Slice, slice, slice. Well, what I did was I had the, my driver, my new driver was laying on the deck, on the ground. And I reached down, guys, and I picked it up like this. I picked it up like this. And I walked around like this with the driver. And I waggled it around like this and I went, what the heck? Why not? Guys, it looked like this. I gripped it like this. There were two balls laying on the ground. I literally, I pulled a happy Gilmore. I went like this and strutted up to it like this. And I went like this, guys. It swung as hard as I possibly could off the deck. And I laced, ripped a 340 yard rising draw into the trees. It was the most, it was, it was, it was crazy. And then I hit another one, and another one, and another one there after my life. So it was an accidental, it was a complete accidental discovery. Guys, this can work for you. Now, by the way, I'm not selling this, am I? I'm not selling this. I'm not asking for money. We're not doing anything like that. Some people said, oh, you should offer memberships and do things like that. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm giving this away to you. And what's the coolest part is I'm reaching the whole world, like I said. I'm so excited I can reach the whole world and give this to you. If, if I, my prayer is that you can have the same feeling that I have, the same incredible improvement that I got overnight. And if it takes you, let's, let's say for the heck of it, it takes you a day or two or a week or two or a month or two. How much time do you have invested into your game right now or into your swing right now? If you've been playing, you could have years invested, thousands of dollars invested. We can change that like this. So give this a fair shake, give it a, give it a thing. I'm not really pitching you, because it doesn't matter. If you do it or you don't, it doesn't matter. I just want to share this again with the world and see what happens to the game of golf. I think this will make golf a better game by far. It'll be so much more fun for you. So, top hand. Got on a little tangent there I had. <laughs> a little tangent had to do it though. I had to share that. Here we go, top hand. The top hand is going to come across the club like this, guys, at a 45 degree angle like this. So you open your hand up like this, just like this, and you cr make it go across the handle like this at a 45 degree angle. Now, in between your index finger and your thumb, if you hold your hand out like this, and touch this piece of skin in between there, right there, I call that the skin fold. I just came up with that one day. I thought it made sense. So this is the skin fold. 
we're going to place the top of the grip, the top of the handle, into the skin fold when we grip the club. Let me grab a club here. Here we go. I'm going to take this, this little blue section right here will illustrate the top of the grip because that's where it is, the top of the handle. And I'm going to lay it into the skin fold right here like this. Now, look at this. I'm not grabbing it over the top under here, and I'm not choking down and grabbing it here. I'm sliding it into the skin fold like this, and then I'm gonna lay my fingers over from there, like this, lay my fingers over. Now, at this time, this is where a lot of people are probably getting it wrong out of the gate, you're gripping it with your palm. You cannot grip this club with your palm. No one can pull this club back. I would never be able to do that. That's, that's silly looking. It's actually, it's impossible to do. So I got blessed when I discovered this by complete accident again, that my hand went onto the club perfectly the right way, or this would have never happened. Back to it. Skin folds in between your thumb and your index finger. Club goes right into that skin fold and then lay your fingers over from there in a finger grip not in a palm grip, okay? Do it one more time. When you lay this club into your hand, we come in, or I need you to come in at a 45 degree angle across the handle or across the grip like this. So it's not coming in at a 90. We're not going over the top. It's coming into the grip at a 45 degree angle, just like this, into the skin fold, and then fingers over from there. Now, from this camera angle, I want to get real close here. The top two fingers and the bottom two fingers make up two pieces, I call it. A top, a top piece and a lower piece. So it's in two sections. When you look at it like this, my finger, my little finger is almost coming off the club at this time. That's okay. We're going to do most of the work with this grip with your index finger, your second finger, and your thumb. They're going to do most of the work, the top three pieces here. So... Lay it back down here, crossed here, finger grip, just like that. This is the top hand. Now guys, from there, your lower hand. Let's get into the lower hand real quick. With the lower hand, I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna chop it into four pieces, four quarters. So right across here, your palm. This lower section right here, right here, we're going to place over the lower section, which is made up of those two lower fingers the small finger and the next finger, the little finger and the next one. So it looks like this. This section is going to lay right over here and then finger grip with this hand, just like you did with the other one, like that. At this time, you're gonna see a V right here. If you look down at it, in your case, from your angle, it'll look like an A, a capital A, or a triangle. That is gonna face right up your chest, right into your, well, into your chin, if you will. So. One more time, because I really want you to get this right. 45 degree angle, finger grip, two pieces, top or lower hand, this section right here lays over there, and then from there, a finger grip, making that V look up at you just like that. Now that's the grip. Now let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, because now we know how to grip the club the correct way. Here we go. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Watch what happens, guys. Roll it up. Oh, wait, what just happened? The wrist roll happened. Watch this. Wrist roll, wrist roll, watch it. Roll it up, the wrist roll. Put a club on it, just like this. Roll it up, just like this, the wrist roll. Just like that, guys. Now, I'm gonna do something that no one has to do or you really have no need to, but I'm gonna take it far beyond parallel. Watch this, guys. Look at this. Watch, now I'm gonna hit my back. Just like that, guys, now I'm gonna hit my back again. That's my back. Now, I'm not, you, you're never gonna need to do that, but I just wanna show you that so that it'll illustrate that it done correctly, gripped correctly, this can work for you. So all of, all of you out there that put on the comments that, oh, again, I can't do it. Well, you, maybe you didn't see this video or this video where I teach, those, I teach you the grip. I want you to hopefully see this video so you don't get this wrong. Or maybe your friends saw it and tell you about it because you can do this. 
You just have the right, you have to have the right instruction. Back to reaching out to you guys. I wanna, I wanna finish with this. This has been a blast and I hope I'm doing it right because sharing my technique with the world is a passion of my heart. Back to my discovery. When I discovered it, you guys, it was like waking up in the middle of a dream. You ever have a dream that you could fly or something? Well, imagine waking up and you could really fly. That's what this is for me. I could really fly and I've given thousands and thousands of lessons and I've seen miracle after miracle of people improving. So there's no reason you can't do it too. And again, I'm so happy to share this with you. I hope this video, I hope it helped you. Um, on the thing, like, subscribe, leave a comment now. Share this with your friends also. And um, I'll see you soon.